Hey, what's going on, my Ken viewers? My name's Ethan K. Welcome to the channel. And today, <coughs> it's like I want to talk about the uh, C64 collection on Evercade and how it's changed everything and how it's changed moved the game and moved the goalposts for Evercade. Now, for those of you who don't know, C64, it was a well, the Commodore line of home computers was a huge range of computers back in the 80s in the UK and Europe. Uh, they were they sold incredibly well. You see, the Commodore 64, especially, which is what C64 is based on. Uh, it was seen as the best, as, well, it's acknowledged to be the best personal computer of all time. Now, what does it mean? Well, for Evercade to get the rights to the 14 of their games is quite big in, its, in, in, in and of itself. But what makes it even bigger is that the C64 is, it was a huge name in Europe, a huge brand in Europe. And alongside the C64, Blaze also made an agreement to use Amiga right the amiga license and the amiga games which means that blaze now has the ability to utilize several different run, runs of computers from the same company because for those you don't know in the i believe it was the 90s commodore bought amiga uh and yeah and amiga stayed with commodore until commodore went bankrupt in, in the mid 90s so getting cc4 collection c64 games was a huge win not to mention this opens up new possibilities to gamers because let's be honest, not every gamer who has an Evercade or who even lives today knows what Commodore 64 is, knows what C64 is. Some of them might own C64 Mini, like I personally do, but that's few and far between. Not everyone's going to know what C64 is, not everyone's going to own one. So, this was a huge win for Blaze because they got these games, which some of them are quite obscure. To be fair, but some of them are really great, like Marauder and Elite, my personal favourites on this cartridge. But not everyone's going to know what those games are. So getting these games on Evercade so they can be played on the handheld, the EXP or the VS was a huge win for plays. Especially when you consider that a lot of these games you can't really buy anymore. Because a lot, for those of you who don't know, a lot of the companies behind these games are actually went out of business. So those games, in a lot of cases, don't exist on like Steam or anything like that. So, this is more like preservation for a lot of these games as well, because these games you can't get unless you've got the original hardware, or you get the Scavicade cartridge, because a lot of them you can't find on digital stores. Now, is this a huge win for Blaze in that regard? Yes, it is, because Blaze now has these games, which some people might remember, some people might not remember, but in a lot of cases you can't buy in any other way. And I should just fork out, fork out thousands and thousands of like the original game ca cassettes and... You have a working C64, hopefully. It's all complicated because with virtual collecting in general, if you have the hardware but the hardware doesn't work, then you're going to have to find a new cop new console, new version of that hardware, which is going to cost you even more money. And maybe you buy it again, maybe the game doesn't work because the hardware, because I know it's really dusty and broken and doesn't want to work on the new on the hardware that you've got. Well, that's, what this, that's where this comes in. Because the C64 was a huge thing in the UK, especially, and, well, it's great to see these games on Evercade, because Evercade is obviously a British company, Blaze is obviously a British company, and C64 was a huge thing in Britain, despite, weirdly, Commodore, the company who, making, who made the C64, being an American company, I never understood that, but I digress. And with C64 games on Evercade, it's kind of given the ability to expose these games to new audiences in a new way. Because not everyone, like I said, not everyone who has an Evercade either grew up around that time or even knew what those games are. Because they're not from Europe or they're not from uh, part, part of the world where the C64 or not was really well known. But yeah, and personally I think this is a great win for Blaze because the C64 has opened up so many doors. Because now people want... Now we're getting Amiga games as well next year. We could potentially see ZX Spectrum, or BBC Micro, or, you know, there's tons of other computers. Amstrad, that's a good one. There's loads. There's just loads of different systems. We could potentially see how their games brought to Evercade now. It's just beautiful to see because this is what will lead to more preservation and more people actually discovering these games for the first time. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I've been Ethan Cade. I'm signing out. Peace.